please welcome to the stage MC Oh My from Planet. Yo, yo. I'm gonna spit some raps for you if you don't mind. How y'all doing tonight? Yo, yo. Put your hands up and have a good time. We catching fun aggro with a buff on the side. When I say SOE, you say bye. SOE, SOE. Put your hands up and have a good time. We catching fun aggro with a buff on the side. When I say SOE, you say bye. SOE, SOE. Check it out, rockin' with SOE fans here, SOE live, formerly known as Fanfare. I'm with clans and guilds, gather here to chill, go into game panels, into competitions at will, and still, aw oh, man. <laughs> Check the lineup and how you live in your path There's order or chaos like the legend of Norad People choose not to attend, they fool party And now they feeling too sorry If you ain't the legal age, don't be acting too naughty You 21 and over, catch me at the pool party But this ain't a swim test, man, it's a party Keep the music and just bring your best dance We gonna get wild then we'll never rest, man Plus the DJs on the ones and twos like EverQuest fans So put your hands up and have a good time We catching fun aggro with a buff on the side When I say SOE, you say live SOE, SOE Put your hands up and have a good time We catching fun aggro with a buff on the side When I say SOE, you say live SOE SOE DCU woke players living life without order Vanguard players take it in spheres like water Planet side players wanna be the top scorer Fighting battles in groups like they play in box scorer It's a crazy adventure like Clone Wars We getting out of control behind closed doors Leaving the place with no loot, that's nonsense Got the whole crew and we winning all the contests MMO gamers have no life? A fallacy SOE lives where you'll find gaming normality You know a game that I played that stole my mortality? The Matrix Online and Star Wars Galaxies S Catch it by the toe, then you better let it go Especially a drag god with the super metal flow SOE live in the house, ain't nothing better so It's time to have fun that we'll remember forever, yo So put your hands up and have a good time We catching fun aggro with a buff on the side When I say SOE, you say live SOE, SOE Yo, put your hands up and have a good time We catching fun aggro with a buff on the side When I say SOE, you say live SOE, SOE Thank you, I hope you guys have fun tonight At SOE Live, have fun all weekend You can't catch me at the pool party And now, please welcome to the stage Mark Tuttle They were gonna ask me they were gonna ask me to do that rap, but you know, figure. Thank you, MC Oh my. Let's have a big hand for him. That's a Planet Side 2 player right there. All right. Well, we made it! SOE Live 2013! How are you guys? Feeling good? Feeling good? Standing in line, waiting to get registered. Why do I need this damn badge? It's all good. It's all good because we're here now. We have a terrific show for you. You're going to see some amazing things. You're going to see something mind-blowing in about, oh, about 15 minutes from now that I just saw myself. So it's really, it's not EverQuest next. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're not saying boo. They're saying loot. All right. So, SOE Live 2013, did we not just do this? We were just here in October. But part of it was we were very excited to get this sneak peek out, not just for EQ Next, but for also all the other great stuff we have coming. So that's why we pushed SOE Live up a little bit earlier to do it in August. Now for 2014 SOE Live, we're really excited. So I'm proud to announce that SOE Live 2014 will take place on January 1st. <laughs> this guy right here just booked his hotel. <laughs> I got in first, thank God. All right. So speaking of hotel, you'll notice the fact that this is not the last hotel, right? Oh, come on now. 
It's Planet Hollywood, and it's pretty damn cool, isn't it? So we looked at the previous, what? What? <laughs> this, hold on, wait, hold on. This is Lilith back there. Lilith, stand up, please. Who I met in line a few moments ago. And I said I was the MC, and I walked away, and she's like, he's not the MC. No. <laughs> so um, we looked at the old hotel, and we started talking with them, and then they said, well, we kind of really don't want you guys back. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there were 10 reasons why we changed hotels this year. <laughs> they wouldn't let me do that joke. <laughs> so let's start right now. Number 10, EverQuest players role-playing at the breakfast buffet. That, that wasn't good for anyone. <laughs> Number nine, Smed constantly holding up the elevators to tweet Planetside 2 hints. <laughs> that was the PR favorite right there. <laughs> Number eight, people in animal costumes confusing the plushy convention next door. Number seven, hotel security tired of being called new conglomerate scum. <laughs> show, show of hands, how many new conglomerate scum do we have in the audience? <laughs> no, no. Whoa, whoa. They're not saying boo, they're saying vanu. <laughs> Number six, they're still pissed about the NGE. <laughs> the Planet Side 2 players are all going, what? What's, what does that stand for? New conglomerate? I don't know. Number five, the pool party. You know, we have all of you on video, we really do. <laughs> Number four, cocktail servers couldn't understand the station cash conversion rate. <laughs> Look, it was double station cash, give me a drink. No, I don't know what that is. Number three, the guy that keeps dressing up as Wonder Woman. <laughs> One of these years, one of these years, you DCO players, you're going to get that costume contest right, okay? All right. <laughs> Number two, sightings of a four and a half foot tall female bearded dwarf upsetting drunken casino patrons. <laughs> Eighty-nine-year-old Gertie sitting at the crab, or sitting at the uh, you know the one-armed bandit pulling that thing, and brass walks by, and she craps herself. And the number one reason we changed hotels, well, the pool party, so. <laughs> All right, so, how many, new player, how many new people do we have here at SOE Live? Never been to one before. All right, so, so, yeah, there's a lot. So what we would like to do is we would like to make sure everybody's on the same footing, so this video montage will get you all caught up to speed of what's come before. <laughs> You know, we could have done it without the Vanu slide. We really could have. All right, so what? Who's yelling at me? All right, so let's talk about games here now, shall we? Uh, SOE has an amazing stable of games uh, in our library. And the nice thing about SOE Live is you guys get to come here and you get to talk to the people that make these games. You get to talk to the designers. You get to talk to the creative people, the programmers. 
You gotta talk to the marketing people if you want, right? <laughs> Guys, I tried, I really, really tried. So, so here's some of the games that, you can, that you're gonna see here. EverQuest, EverQuest! 14 years! Who's been playing that for 14 years? Okay, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. People die. We know this. <laughs> Why don't you res? Okay. He did not go to medical school. Um, and then, EverQuest 2! Who in EverQuest 2 hasn't died yet? Are we playing the same game? <laughs> DC Universe Online! Superheroes! Man, you know, that's the spandex MMO right there. If I'm going to be staring at the backside of my avatar for 20 hours a week, I want it to look good, right? So. Do you play a male avatar or a female avatar, sir? He's looking, I'm not answering that question. <laughs> Quick survey, who plays an avatar opposite of your sex? All right, hold on. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Obviously that's causing some confusion. Let me ask this question. How many of you think the person sitting next to you just lied? All right. Planet side two! You know, I love Planet Side 2. I'm a Vanu. Yeah. Peace through technology. Yeah. You know, every one of you, new conglomerate and Terran Republic people that own an iPhone can shut up. <laughs> All right. Dragon's Prophet. Have you guys have you guys played this game? This so you gotta try this. This is really cool. This is basically the premise of Dragon's Prophet. You're walking along, minding your own business, because that's what you do in an MMO, right? You mind your... Actually, that's not true. In an MMO, you're walking around looking for somebody to beat to death and steal from. So really, it's like living in Chicago. So... There's an ugly group of mis Midwesterners, right? About there. So you come across a dragon, because it's called Dragon Prophet, duh. And then you decide, I want that dragon in my stable. So you run up to it, and you start, you're nodding your head, he's like, I've done this. You, want, you run up to it, and you start hitting it and attacking it. And you beat it, uh, just, just teeth, and there's blood, and there's screaming, and yelling, and saliva, and all kinds of gross stuff. And you get, and you get to a point where the dragon finally says, I've had enough of this crap. And then you own the dragon and the dragon goes in your stable. So really, Dragon's Prophet is a marriage simulator. <laughs> Vanguard! Vanguard is that little game that could. We, so we had, we, had a, we had a good group of people that came from Vanguard last year. We've increased that by sevenfold at this show. So let's have a big hand for the Vanguard people. It's a great game. Free Realms and Clone Wars Adventures for the younger gamers in our audience. Let's hear it for them. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Wizardry Online. Have you guys played Wizardry Online? You guys think you're really good MMO players? Yeah, right. <laughs> The last 10 seconds in Wizard Online. It's really cool and it's re visually it's stunning. Give it a try too. By the way, we have demo stations for all this. Uh, in the TCGs, Legends of Norath, my game! Come on! Come on! $1,000 prize per tournament tonight, right after this, uh, right after this, the uh, show is done here. Uh, Pox Nora 2, also a great game. Demo out in the outer room, okay? So, a lot of great games. Let's hear it for the games tonight, guys. All right. Now, 
SOE Live is a great place to talk to the devs and meet the folks at SOE, but it's also a great place to meet your fellow players. Now, you talk to these folks online, you talk to them in chat and on the forums and things like that, and sometimes you have get-togethers, but you really don't get a chance to meet them and know about them the things that we know about them. So, when you guys signed up for, why are you laughing? You have no idea what's coming. Um, maybe you do. So when you signed up for SOE Live, we asked you a question. We said, what are you most looking forward to at SOE Live? And a lot of you had some really amazing, awe-inspiring answers that almost brought us to tears. And some of you are truly sick and twisted. <laughs> so here is, um, here's a good one. This is an EQ DCUO player. Now, by the way, if this is you, if you wrote this specific thing that I say, if, if, you, if you want to self-select and you want to call out and say, yeah, that was me, or yell, or whatever, please do, because we'd like to meet you. Uh, this EQ, not yet. <laughs> this EQ DCO player said, booze. <laughs> so I ran, a quick, I ran a quick survey on this. You can stop clapping anytime now, sir. 12% uh, of respondents mentioned drinking, alcohol, boozing. Will those 12% please holler? Ma math is really hard, isn't it? All right. Let's see. Here's an EQ, EQ2 player. Husband would be sad if we didn't attend. Oh. Who was that? Who said that? Yeah, they don't want to. Yeah. Did you guys see my request story? My, my wife, her response was always, you're playing that damn game again. And by the way, she's watching with several thousand people on our Twitch stream right now, so everybody turn back to the camera and wave hi to the Twitch people. Hi, honey. By the way, I'd also like you to turn around and wave again at the NSA because they're watching too. How are you? <laughs> by the way, the NSA has already played EverQuest next. They give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, next up, this is a Planet Side 2 player. I want to meet the rest of my outfit. 666, fight the hard fight. You know, when I first heard the term 666 Devil Dog, I thought that was the lunch special at Wiener Schnitzel. Where is Juliana, my new friend, who's a Vanguard player? Could Juliana come up here, please, sweetie? Colette, can I have prize bag number two, please? Okay, oh, come on, clap for her. So I met Juliana and her mother in the, in the elevator lobby, in the elevator, and this is her first gaming show. She's never been to a gaming convention before, and she's a Vanguard player. What does your mom play? Um, she used to play EverQuest. EverQuest, there you go. So what, I, what I've decided to do is I've decided to give you some prizes because you were so nice in the elevator, all right? So we're going to give you, look at this. This is a nice pair of Sony headphones. Very nice. Look at that. And we're also giving you the Nagafin hat because you got some hair issues going on there. So. Now there, thank you, Colette. Now, the reason I've done this, this is her first gaming convention. I wanted to make sure that every other gaming convention she goes to sucks compared to this one. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Here's one, an EQ player. This, this is good. In all the years I've played, I have never attended. I live in Las Vegas. <laughs> it's time to check it out. So, is this guy going to self-select? No. Here's, here's how you're going to recognize this guy. This is the guy in the bar that's going to be, oh, you came from Australia? <laughs> Have you ever driven down Las Vegas Boulevard? I hit like 16 lights and I had to get gas. Lives in Vegas and he can't make it to the show. That's great. Where is that one? Him right there? What time does your mom what time does your mom need you home tonight? Are mom jokes in bounds? Can we do that? All right, I, now, I want you all to be very quiet because I want this person to stand up because I have something very special for this person. If you are the person that responded this way, you're a Planet Side 2 player, I want this person to respond. 
What were you most excited about for SOE Live? Higby's hair. <laughs> Who was it? Where's Matt Higby? Matt, where are you? Come up here, Matt, please. Please. Come up here, gentlemen, Mr. What is your name, sir? Sundance. Sundance. All right. Nice to meet you. All right. Hig where's Matt? Come on, Matt. Let's go. So what is it about Matt Higby's hair that you really kind of enjoy? Well, it tickles my balls. <laughs> Colette, Colette, can I have prize bag number one, please? So, so Sundance, so Sundance says that, um, well, you heard what he said. I have a special prize for Sundance. So, Sundance is apparently under a lot of pressure, so here's some balls you can squeeze when you're feeling stressed out. All right, off the stage. Let's go. Let's go. This one's just dirty now. All right. All right. One more. EQ, EQ2. I can't wait to... Jeez. Oh, this, this is a dandy right here. EQ, EQ2, I can't wait to dress up as a fairy for the costume contest. I have some very pretty wings. I'm giddy. I, I know who this was. This was Dave Georgeson. All right. Now that you've met your players, your fellow players, you're all scared to hell. All right. So you're all probably thinking, who is this guy? Um, so I've been at SOE for five and a half years now, um, doing most of the TCGs. Uh, I have an extensive background in uh, radio, which is why they chose me to do this, because Lord knows you need to see my face for you know, 20 minutes at a time. So I know a lot of you came here for another reason. You came here to see someone else, all right? And that someone else, that someone else has been a fixture at SOE Live and before that at Fanfare for many, many years. That person is somebody who takes costuming almost to a psychotic level. <laughs> and it would not be an SOE Live without this person. But before we bring this individual out, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to take a look back through the years at Brass here at SOE Live? <clears throat> so Brass is the one on the left. That was a... Uh, it's almost hard to tell what color she's wearing because it's disturbing. And then we have this one. People wonder what happened to that costume. The answer, she smoked it. <laughs> and then there was this one. I have no idea what's happening here. But it's a great costume. And then there was this one. <laughs> Raise your hand if you can name any one person in that picture. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, there was this. And the best part about it was she's not the silliest looking one in this picture. And then, of course, there was this music sensation. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome to SOE Live 2013 our very own dwarf, Bruce! Wow. Someone wow. called for Vanu extermination. Oh, can we talk about this? <laughs> I, that, I'm willing to talk for drink tickets. Who, yes. who are we wearing this year? <laughs> who are we wearing? All right, so this is, uh, everybody likes the whole crossover costume thing, so I decided to go for a dwarven Terran Max. <laughs> 
Is that a flask on your arm? Uh, there are at least three. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to run out of vital equipment and supplies while you're on a campaign. All right, there is it. All right, Saturday night, there's a prize. How many flasks is she wearing? <laughs> you know, most people can count that high. I know you have difficulties yourself, I'd, but... You know, if you had put the underwear on the outside, you could have got DCUO in there, too. Mark, you're the only guy I know who wears underwear on the outside. Not tonight. <laughs> he has orders from SMED. <laughs> All right, so SOE Live. SOE Live can be, obviously, a dangerous place at times. Oh, hell yes. Why do you think I'm wearing all this armor? True. So, if you haven't been watching the SOE Live forums and the internet over the last couple of weeks, Brass has been putting together a very terrific series of, I think, even government-sponsored and regulated public service announcements. I would never do anything without the blessing of the government, NSA dudes. That's right. <laughs> so these are, this is just a summary of some of the tips you'll need for SOE Live 2000. Pay attention. So we know that some of you overindulge just a wee bit at SOE Live. Yes, I'm talking to you in an effort to encourage responsible drinking at the pool party this year, we're limiting it to three free drink tickets per person. Now, what does that mean for the dwarves? We use the buddy system. Oh, Tiffany! Um, so you're not overly fond of beer, are you? So you're not actually going to use those. Here at SOE, we take safety very seriously. Please carry your ID with you at all times so that you can make it safely back to your room regardless of where you may end up after the event. Always remember the golden rule. Whatever happens in Vegas, who are you kidding? It's going to be on the internet in two minutes. Prepare accordingly. See you there.